As winter settled in deeper, bringing crisp air and fluffy snowflakes, the children of the village found themselves buzzing with excitement. With their talking teddy bears by their side, every day felt like a new adventure. One frosty morning, Tom, Sarah, and Julie gathered in Tom's backyard, where the snow lay thick and inviting. What should we do today? Tom asked, brushing the snow off a nearby bench. I heard Lily has a new story about a hidden treasure, Sarah chimed, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. Treasure? Count me in, exclaimed Julie, her bear Benny bouncing eagerly beside her. With a collective nod, they settled in a circle, their teddy bears perched beside them. All right, Lily, tell us the story, Sarah encouraged. Lily took a deep breath and began. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magical cave filled with sparkling treasures. But to find it, one had to follow the clues hidden in the winter woods. The children listened intently, their imaginations igniting. Let's go on a treasure hunt of our own, Tom declared, jumping to his feet. Great idea! We can find our own hidden treasure, Julie added, a grin spreading across her face. The group set off into the snowy woods, their teddy bears leading the way. The first clue should be near the old oak tree, Teddy suggested with a twinkle in his eye. The children raced to the towering oak, its branches heavy with snow. Beneath its gnarled roots, they discovered a small shimmering box. Inside, they found a note that read, To find the treasure, follow the sound of laughter. What does that mean? asked Sarah, scratching her head. Let's see if we can find the source of laughter in the woods, Benny said bouncing up and down excitedly. The children laughed, enjoying their bear's enthusiasm, and set off again. As they walked deeper into the forest, they heard giggles and chattering. Following the sounds, they stumbled upon a group of woodland animals playing in the snow. A family of rabbits, a few curious squirrels, and a wise old owl were having a merry time. Can we join in? Tom asked, his face alight with joy. Of course, the owl replied, but first, you must solve a riddle. If you can answer correctly, we'll help you find the treasure. The children huddled together, their bears listening closely. What has keys but can't open locks? the owl asked, a playful glint in his eyes. After a moment of pondering, Teddy exclaimed, A piano! Correct, the owl hooted, flapping his wings in delight. Now. Let's all play together. Then I'll show you where to find your treasure. They spent a joyful afternoon playing games and sharing stories with the animals. When the sun began to set, the owl led them to a sparkling waterfall, its waters glimmering like diamonds in the fading light. Look behind the waterfall, the owl instructed. The treasure, they gasped in unison, their eyes wide with wonder. But as they began to gather the treasures, Sarah paused. Wait, we can't just take everything. We should leave some for the animals who live here. The others nodded, realizing the truth in her words. Together, they decided to take only a few gems to share with their families, leaving the rest for the woodland creatures to enjoy.